So this is my FPV freestyle quad, and I have this set up with iNav and my GPS unit up here for any long range flights I wanna do or just use navigation modes. But there's some times where I just don't want or care to use the GPS. Maybe I have a quad that I'm working on tuning, or maybe it's just a day that I'm just gonna do some proximity stuff and I don't really need the GPS unit. So on those kind of days, when you're using iNav, it won't arm until you get that GPS fix, but there is a way around it and we're gonna show you that right here. So with our quad plugged in and connected to the configurator, we're gonna roll down to the programming tab. In the programming tab, we're gonna use two of these entries here. The first one we're going to do is we're gonna enable, enable both entries and there's a bunch of operations that we can do. There's a lot you can do in this programming tab and I'm not gonna go through everything you can on this. There is other videos out there if you're looking at it, something specific or if you have any questions on how to do something, put those down below. But what we're gonna to wanna to do is this greater than a, B. So that basically says, hey, this is a one line operation. Uh, a, you know, when A is greater than B, it's going to activate. It's going to show this active status over here. This light will go green. So we're going to say, okay, well, what's A going to be? Well, we're going to get an RC channel. And these are our RC channels. And you can see what your sticks are. This is one, two, three, and four. And then you can see how iNav starts with five, six, seven, and eight for your auxiliary modes. So going back into here, we know one, two, three, four are our stick commands. Five, I use for arming. We're gonna just use six in this example. So that'd be my second auxiliary switch on my radio. And we're gonna say, okay, whenever that is above, uh, let's say 1600. So those channels usually go from 1000 to 2000 within the range and you'd see that on the receiver tab that whenever I take that switch and move it above uh, the 1600, so up to the 2000 or anything above 1600 microseconds, it will activate this. So we're gonna set that at that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is hit this next drop down, and we're gonna find the override arming safety. And what we're doing on this is we're saying, hey, I wanna use override arming safety, which you could just set that to on, click this as true, leave this as always, and then it's your always overriding arm and safety. That means on the bench, the I just, uh, iNav will just have no arming safety protocols whatsoever. So I don't think that's a great idea. I think we should put that on a switch saying, hey, when I put this switch down, now I know I'm overriding arming safety and I'm arming regardless of GPS lock and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna say, okay, override arming safety, but we're gonna say that is gonna be tied to the logical condition zero, which is this number right here. So essentially how this reads is whenever my channel, RC channel six, the value is greater than 1600, that's gonna flag that status. That's also then gonna trigger the this row, this arming safety, since that is tied to the flag of this uh, statement up here. To see this in action, you will need to hit save since this lives in the flight controller. Now, if I move my switch down, you're gonna see those lights up there go on. So that's gonna make, again, logical condition zero be met, which then I'm tying logical condition one to zero, which will make them both act at the same time. Now there's some really cool other features that you can use in these logical conditions that's things that you can do in iNav that you can't do in Betaflight. Like you can have complete PID and rate profiles like these profiles up here, profile one, prof rate profile two. And in Betaflight, you can't switch them in flight, but in iNav you can. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing videos on that. And then there's other things like, what's this up here, this PID controller thing? What, what can we do with that? There's no content out on that. So I'm gonna be doing some stuff on this, but I wanted to get this one out so you know how to set up your iNav quads for tuning, which we're also gonna be talking about. Again, interested in any of that content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks everybody, I hope this helps.